Hello everyone. Our project is about smart wearable shoe for tracking and monitoring of army soldiers. This project is done by Daphne Florence, Gayatri and Harshita. Project guide is Dr. C. Shobhana Nageshwari Ma'am. Nowadays, soldier security and safety have become a big concern. On focusing this problem, we have decided to develop a system that will automatically trace the location of each and every soldier. The objective for project is to track the location of the military soldier, to eliminate the need of internet to track the military people using mobile lab, and to introduce the LoRa module in defensive field. LoRa is nothing but we will be able to continually share knowledge and experience to guarantee interoperability between LoRa network operators in one open global standard. To benefit from the global reach of LoRa 1, sensors are being built based on the LoRa chips and modules. One sure solution is ready for launch. The LoRa Alliance offers certification programs to ensure compliance and the ability to commercialize your offering around the world. Ending on the use case, your sensors can transmit messages and receive acknowledgements or responses by listening to the network after sending on fixed intervals or in an always on mode to reduce latency. LoRa 1 is designed by the industry for the industry and provides the flexibility needed to cover almost any use case. LoRa offers unique wireless features that enables the connectivity of any kind of device or solution. LoRa is already a proven technology deployed in millions of sensors. The main advantage of LoRa is it is easy to install, extremely economical, flexible to adapt, scalable, bidirectional, secure and encrypted. To track the location easily without the use of internet, we are using GPS module in the transmitter side. Wi-Fi Gateway Here we are using ESP8266, which is low-cost Wi-Fi chip with full TCP IP stack. It has in 5 volts for working and current for about 250 mA. The fast start there were very few external components on the modules which suggested that it could eventually be very inexpensive in volume. Addition to this, we are using Atmeha 328 microcontroller in transmitter as well as receiver side. It is basically an advanced virtual reduced instruction set microcontroller. It was one of the first microcontroller families to use on-chip flash memory for program storage. It is almost four times faster than PIC. It finds many applications as embedded system. The transmitter module consists of power supply, GPS, microcontroller, and LoRa transmitter. The data will be sent to the nearby slave modules and from there the data will be transmitted to the master modules. From the master modules the data will be sent to the cloud. This is the code that we have used for our transmitter. The receiver module consists of power supply, LoRa receiver and Wi-Fi gateway. The data collected from the cloud by the receiver module receives data and integrate into GPS tracking in mobile application. Then the location will be tracked in map. This is the code that we have used for our receiver module.
This is the internal architecture of mobile app development. In this, we are using a React Native which is an open source framework that allows to build a mobile app with only JavaScript. This is a new technology for simpler development and a better user experience. This main distinctive of this framework is that React Native apps function just like native apps. They don't differ from apps built on Java, Objective-C or SWIFT. With React Native, building a mobile app is much faster and less expensive. This is probably the most important advantage of React Native. This is the code that we have used to develop the mobile app. The mobile app detects the data from GPS and Google Map from the mobile and then sends these data to the React Native. From the React Native, the data is sent to the web app and then it shows the live GPS tracking for the location of the soldiers. LoRa Tracking is the app that we have developed. Now let's move on to the live demo. Now we are switching on the transmitter. Now the transmitter starts transmitting its data that is the location. This is how we should log in into the LoRa Tracking app. By the help of the transmitter module, we can find the exact location of the transmitter by this mobile app. This is the receiver module and the mobile app which is showing the location. Thanks for watching the video.